anybody's considering minor hockey. You know, we've got good programs all the way up, all up good volunteer coaches. And, uh, you know, there's lots of uh, things to take people's attention. Uh, minor hockey's a good one, keeps kids busy. And I mean, any hockey, anything, any sports kids can play is, I think it's great for kids. I, I've got four active kids and I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't have it any other way. So get your kids involved and uh, then when you get your kids here, we'll get you involved. Minor hockey's been an old, as long as I can remember anyways, I played minor hockey and a lot of our executive and, uh, and board members have us here as well. And uh, this year we've got around 280 registrants playing on uh, 18 teams. And uh, most of our male teams, novice through midget, play in the Central Alberta Hockey League. And uh, our female teams, Adam through midget, play in the Rocky Mountain Female Hockey League. And then our little guys, our tykes, um, play in a local league here, it's called the 2-27. and 27. We have uh, three, three of those teams and they go as far as uh, Crossfield and we're kind of the north end of that. And uh, yeah, they play about 20 games a year. And then we host uh, four tournaments a year. This year we had uh, Tyke Novice uh, as a combination tournament, Adam, uh, Bantam, and the Adam Pee Wee Female divisions hosted the uh, joint tournament as well. Yeah, we're we're down a couple of teams this year from last year, mm -hmm. and I mean certainly part of the reason is cost, for sure. And um, what what ends up happening in you know in a rural area is you have to go usually travel a fair distance to get reasonable competition mm -hmm. and you know there's a trade-off with that as well uh, obviously there's a cost and then if you're not going to find that competition well the development's probably not there <coughs> and I think one of the key things with minor hockey as a as a mission for minor hockey probably across Canada is to develop uh, one of them is to develop high in hockey and then you know certainly other aspects are to just for the kids to go out and play and you know, Oles has a has a rec hockey program as well, run by a separate association that does quite well. It's got good numbers. So I think you got to look at the two together. Minor hockey is one path, and the rec hockey or pond hockey in some communities is another path. And I think it's important to look at both of those together. I don't think overall hockey numbers are way down. I think they shift back and forth a little between the two streams. Mm -hmm doing something so so for families that you know want a competitive environment for hockey minor hockey is where that where those uh, where that competitive level is played and uh, uh, you know the value there is the kids are on the ice quite a bit you know up to four or five times a week mm -hmm. uh, as little as three times a week maybe for the little guys but uh, they're certainly kept out of trouble between school and minor hockey it's a full load for a kid pretty well strictly volunteer operated right now um, we've got uh, a paid position as a bookkeeper that's very part-time mm -hmm. and then also a paid position in our uh, concession which is semi part-time it's a fair bit of work it's a big part of our fundraising our concession and then uh, a paid uh, registrar as well which is uh, you know, registering the kids and making liaisoning with Hockey Albert and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. other than that, everything else is pretty well volunteer. All our coaches, uh, usually parents, we do have a few non-parent coaches as well. And then managers, uh, you know, it just takes takes lots of people to run run an organization like this. So, uh, lots of action. And then, of course, the town's great. They've got great staff here at the rink, and uh, always supportive. Anything we we need help with, there's always help there. Well, minor hockey, any mo minor hockey uh, family member can sit on the board. Mm -hmm. So uh, those positions are not vacant now. They will yep. be coming up for election in April. So, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit of a recruitment challenge to get those positions mm -hmm. filled. And quite typically at our AGM, we don't get them all filled. <laughs> we will, people will step up after realizing there's a vacancy and, and uh, we'll do an appointment process at the board levels. So if they want to know more about it, our email mm -hmm. addresses, myself, Les, anybody on the board. Uh, are on the website and mm -hmm. they can get a hold of us. Phone numbers there too.
Well, we certainly do rely on uh, community support, corporate support for purchasing new equipment for the kids. Uh, we try to keep registration fees down, so you know, anytime you have to buy jerseys, it's a significant uh, a hit uh, financially. So we have sponsored jerseys, uh, which we've got, went just through a new uh, new cycle of purchasing all new jerseys. Had great community support. We really thank community for that and uh, just ongoing you know little bits here and there if uh, what really helps is people come out and support the Grizzlies um, we do well with the concession that's one of the arrangements we have Meyer Hockey gets to run the concession um, of course we have a volunteer base we can call on so it works reasonably well for us and uh, you know any support for the Grizzlies coming out into the rink supports both organizations and of course supports the town as well. Olds Community TV, your go-to channel for news and information in Olds, Alberta.